Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I will be putting on makeup and removing it right after because I am running out of video ideas. I also really want to talk about college, about my experience and some tips that I have for you guys. So if you're interested in that, keep on watching. background hi my name is Sofia Santos and I am an upcoming second year student from the University of Santo Tomas and I am studying AB in behavioral science I didn't have the best freshman year because I literally spent half of it at home in front of my computer I saw a lot of posts about people getting their set results and I had time to reminisce about about my experience this time last year and I remember being so full of anxiety because waiting for your university results and if you even have a college to go to is gut-wrenching and then when I finally got my results and I knew that I passed I actually passed two out of the three universities that I took I thought the anxiety was gonna end there but it didn't <laughs> The next question I had to answer was, what do I do next and where do I actually study? I took three entrance exams out of the four top universities, I took UP, La Salle, and USD. I actually failed UP. I was supposed to um, apply for or consideration, but my parents weren't really the biggest fan of that, so that's out of the picture. For La Salle, I actually passed my first choice of course, and then for USD, I was waitlisted for behavioral sciences. Choosing between La Salle and USD was one of the hardest decisions I had to make because everyone I asked, the people around me were always 50-50 with their decision. A lot of people said that I would get more connections when I study in La Salle, but a lot to half of the people also said that USD is such a great school, the people there are amazing and all that, so I had to take all of that into consideration and it was very hard for me to choose between two great universities. Something I wish I knew before was that my decision is gonna be personal and I'm not gonna find an answer to where I should study through the internet. You know, yes, you should do your research. I did my research, but I was asking the wrong questions. I would ask people and Google if USD has better education than La Salle, if mas maganda ba yung ranking ng La Salle kaysa USD and all that. And at the end of the day, those numbers and those lists won't really matter as much. What I did was I took all my priorities, ranked them according to the top one until my top five or something and then dun ako nag base sa decision ko but these factors should be really personal for example location no? the location of the school was really important to me kasi hindi open yung family ko in getting me a dorm so and hindi rin ako masyadong marunong mag commute before so that's what i considered other factors of course can include what your parents think what you think the atmosphere of the school um the values the education and your course and all of that stuff just basically rank them up to which one is more important for you and then base your decisions from there and that made my life so much easier so after picking a university comes the actual education and academics um i bet you heard a lot from your high school teachers about how terror college professors are gonna be and how different they are from high school and honestly all of them are right something that i found in college is professors and the students and basically everyone care less about you so you really have to insert your own effort into everything you're gonna do because no one's gonna push you your professors aren't gonna remind you of the deadlines or if you're failing their class my first tip about college academics is find your study trigger. Me personally and a lot of my friends don't work well if pilit sila sa ginagawa nila. So if you find a study trigger, something that motivates you to be productive, work harder, and actually want to do something is very important during college. 
Your study triggers can be as simple as listening to classical music. If that makes you want to study, then go ahead and do that. Mine is watching study vlogs. Seeing people study and make it so aesthetic really motivates me to do the same. So ayun, just find something that encourages you to study so you don't have to study na pilit ka lang. Kasi obviously, mas maganda yung kakalabasan ng mga projects mo if you actually enjoyed doing it. Next tip that I have is find out about your professor's teaching technique. This is so important because as I mentioned before, um, unlike high school na may unified system of, of how many projects they should give, merong mga unified formats yung mga tests. So college, to each their own. <laughs> One thing that's gonna make your life so much easier is if tignan mo kung paano magpa-test and kung paano magturo yung teacher. You can do this by asking your atas and kuyas from the upper batch. Or, or if you don't have friends from the upper batch, I'm sure your other classmates do. So ask them about that. Or kaya observe ikaw na lang mismo mag-observe. It's really important kasi professors are so different from each other. I have teachers na pag nagbasa ka ng book, papasa ka na. I have teachers na pag pagbabasa lang yung ginagawa mo and hindi ka nakikinig, you won't be able to answer the test. So, it's gonna make your life so much easier kasi alam mo kung saan ka dapat mag-focus. If sa libro ba, sa PowerPoint, or to whatever they're saying. And, you'll also know which classes are okay to cut, you know? Even if everyone literally says na all college professors are terror and nakakatakot talaga sila. At first, of course, yes, they are really, really intimidating. But not all of them are scary. You're gonna find professors na they may seem intimidating at first because they know so much. But when you get to know them, they turn into really kind people. And just give everyone a chance and always, always bring your A-game. This time, if you don't study, you will fail. Unlike high school na... Kahit hindi ka mag-aral, madali lang naman mag-shotgun. Mag That's not gonna happen in college, you guys. And yung mga inaaral nyo ngayon, it's actually gonna matter in the next four years. So, it's better take it seriously now than regret it later. Aside from academics, college is also about meeting new people and socializing. One really memorable day for me was the first day of school. I remember being so shy and I was about to panic because I didn't know who to go to. It was my first day at USD and I didn't know anyone. I did have some friends from other courses, pero syempre hindi naman sila yung lagi mo makakasama if they belong to a different building or they have a different course. Yung slate ko talaga of friendships was empty. And I thought that I was gonna walk in there all alone with no one to talk to. Tapos lahat sila may mga kaibigan na. But honestly, that wasn't the case. There were a lot of people who were also alone and had no one to talk to. And siguro something I wish I knew before was everyone I was gonna meet are also freshman students. And all of them are shy as well. And kinakabahan yan lahat. Because all of you are in a new place. And someone is probably there waiting for you to talk to them. So just go ahead and do that. Because your first few weeks are gonna be built up by the people you meet. And it's also important to not lose yourself. Ayun, I just want to say na if you act like someone you're not, you're gonna attract people with that fake persona. So, at the end of the day, you're gonna be tired of acting and you're just gonna find yourself with the wrong people surrounding you. Just be yourself. You don't have to be a part of a big clique or tropa in the first weeks. So, don't pressure yourself into that. And also, another thing, it's important to just allow things to happen naturally. I was initially part of one of the biggest, like, tropa in our classroom and eventually throughout my whole freshman year naghiwalay hiwalay din kami not because we didn't like each other or we didn't get along it's just that a big group of friends is gonna be made up of different personalities and some personalities are gonna vibe more with others and it's okay na hindi sobrang laka yung group of friends mo as long as you don't make enemies and you become friendly with everyone just have a few people who you can go to all the time because that's all you really need speaking of socializing you are going to meet more people outside of your classroom rather than inside of your classroom i actually met a lot of people by joining organizations and that's gonna be our next topic for today so usc kasi we have 
um, R101 where the organizations recruit members. So you can sign up for as many as you want. And I think wala naman siyang limitations, but you should know that college orgs are not like high school clubs that only have their meetings during school hours. Joining college orgs are a big commitment, lalo na if you live wide siya. Kasi may orgs na for your course lang, may orgs na for your building lang, tas may orgs din na for the whole university. Just know that when you join an organization, you're, you should be responsible enough to attend their meetings and do the tasks that are assigned to you. Joining orgs are very worth it kasi you meet a lot of people, you do things that you like, but it's such a big commitment. Ako kasi personally, as a freshman student, my classes start from 7 a.m. to around 1 o'clock p.m. And then yung meetings ng org ko happen at around 7, 6, 6, 7, or 8. Basta sa gabi siya usually. And sometimes, sa umaga nga, pero on days na wala akong pasok. And as a South girl na uwian, and going to Manila every day and coming home, it can be quite difficult, but if it's worth it, you're gonna do it. And also, when you sign up for an org, makikita mo talaga yung mga tao na passionate sa mga ginagawa nila. So, it's so embarrassing hindi ka umattend or you don't do your responsibilities. Joining an org also opens you to getting learning opportunities that you can't get inside a classroom. So, it's important na open ka sa mga stuff na ganda. O kasi, college isn't just about acing your exams or what. It's about learning how to live your life and how to live on the real world, kumbaga. Something that I regret not doing in high school is just grabbing all the opportunities handed to me. Kasi pag nag college ka, ma realize mo talaga yung mga sinayang mo eh. Sa high schools kasi opportunities are literally handed out to you and my teachers almost had to force us to participate in different activities and honestly i really really regret not participating in as much activities as i could because when it comes to college these activities are so rare and you really have to go to people and find connections para makapag participate ka they don't go to you you go to them so it's so different and, and it's important na hindi mo sila sayangin in moments like this, dapat hindi ka pangunahan ng tahot because it's much scarier to realize na wala ka ng oras to do anything that you want to do kasi sinayang mo na lahat ng opportunity. And that's it. I'm just gonna take some pictures and I'm gonna remove this right after. I hope you enjoyed this video and you learned a little something. I just wanted to share my thoughts because I like talking. <laughs> Thank you so so much for watching and if you're interested in more videos like this, make sure to click like and subscribe and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye!